Now, Ridouan Tagi, one of the Netherlands' most wanted criminals, has been sentenced to life in prison. The case against the drug cartel leader and 16 other members of his crime gang related to several murders, including a journalist who'd been supporting the prosecution's key witness. Prosecutors described Tagi's organisation as a well-oiled killing machine. Redwan Tagi, the convicted leader of the Mokro Mafia crime gang. The case against him and 16 others was related to six murders and a number of other attempted murders. The Dutch Prosecution Service has sentenced him to life imprisonment in a trial one lawyer described as the most toxic in the history of the Netherlands. The case gained increased international attention after the high-profile murder of investigative journalist Peter R. De Vries. He had been supporting the prosecution's key witness in the case, a former gang member who was providing information about the mafia organization. That witness's lawyer and brother have also been murdered, perceived as an attempt to silence him. Over the six years of the trial, nearly everyone connected to this case had to be placed under police protection. Lawyers, judges, witnesses and family members. While this case focused on the murders they committed, the Mokro Mafia are alleged to be key European players in the global trade in drugs and arms, especially through the port of Rotterdam. The verdict is being billed as a major moment for justice in the Netherlands, but also for the international fight against organized crime. And DW correspondent Jack Parrock joins us now from that court in Amsterdam. Jack, tell us more about this, this verdict. How important um, is it for the Dutch justice system? Yeah, it's hugely important. What the judges have done today, essentially, is to convict one of the most important, the most significant drug crime boss bosses in Dutch history. Ridwan Targi, the 46-year-old, will serve a life sentence for his ordering and involvement in six murders and a string of attempted assassinations between 2016 and 2017. Two other men will also serve life sentences for their involvement. And the other 14 people in the case all had a range of uh, crime, prison sentences ranging from somewhere in, in the region of a year all the way up to around 30 years. So all of them were convicted. This is really, really significant. It's a six-year trial in which we've seen a number of parallel murders unleashed related to the key witness, a man named Nabil B, who is one of the Mokro Mafia's gang who turned against them and provide, provided evidence for the Crime Prosecution Service. His lawyer, his brother, and the famous journalist Peter R. De Vries were all killed as a consequence of them supporting him in this trial. This is a really significant moment for Dutch justice. There's been huge uh, pressure from society and from the media on the judges and the convictions have now come. So obviously a huge story for the Netherlands, but does this verdict have wider uh, implications for the fight against organized crime? So not only in the ne Netherlands, but also throughout Europe? Yeah, it does because uh, the Mokro Mafia, led by Ridwan Targi, their prime business was importing, or still is importing, uh, cocaine and other drugs through the port of Rotterdam. So convicting these men is a real sign of the Dutch attempt to bring an end to the accusations of this country, which is ordinarily known for its sort of sleepy tulips and clogs, uh, but in recent years has changed into a country gripped as a narco state by these crime gangs importing drugs through the port of Rotterdam, which are then going into the rest of Europe. This is a major moment. It's very, very significant. We do know, however, I've been speaking to lawyers here at the court and they've, the defence lawyers, they already say that they will try to appeal these convictions. Jack Parrott reporting from Amsterdam. Jack, thank you so much.